Hello everyone, my name is Abby Bliss White and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to have a little bit of fun playing with Hermes Beauty. I did pick up a few goodies from Hermes and I thought what we would do today is do essentially a full face of Hermes. I have a couple fun lippies to share with you as well and then I have a cute little jacket that I wanted to share with you. So I thought we would end with an outfit of the day as well. So if you are interested in seeing how I created this look using all Hermes beauty, as well as sharing my outfit of the day, then let's go ahead and get started. Okay, we need to put makeup on this face and I have some new Hermes goodies and I thought we would just sort of create a full face of Hermes makeup. So we're going to start with the Hermes. This is the Plen Air and this is basically their natural enhancing complexion balm. This has a broad spectrum SPF 30. And when I was in San Diego, we actually went into the Hermes store and played around with their beauty products. And I ended up picking this up in the shade 10. And it may appear just a bit light when I'm first putting this on, but what I have found is that it oxidizes just a bit and it does sort of end up matching my skin. So I looked at 20, I would say I usually do like a B20 or a B30. The 20 was way too yellow and then the 30 actually was a little bit too dark and so I was laughing. I was just telling a friend that I'm like a true like 2.5. <laughs> I, I need something with the in between um, the 20s and the 30s. But when I was in store and I was trying this product on, it is a tinted balm, which means that it's going to be quite flexible and you don't have to be precise with the color. So the way that I like to put this on is it's essentially like a tinted moisturizer. So I tend to like to use my fingertips first and then I will kind of use a foundation brush to buff this into my skin. Okay, here is what a pea size amount of this tinted balm looks like. And I don't know if you can see on camera, but it is going to start to kind of mesh in with my skin, but it gives a really pretty glow. And what I have found is it seems like there's, you know, definitely some pigments in this balm and so as it dries down I found that my skin sort of took on a little bit of a radiant glow. This does have an SPF of 30 in that as well so I felt like it started out light and then it slightly oxidized. So I had heard some mixed reviews on this product, i.e. some people absolutely hated it. Um, and so when I was playing around in store, I was sort of surprised because I liked the consistency of it and I liked the way that it wore on my skin. And so I think it's going to be personal preference. I think that this does sort of let your skin shine through. It's not gonna provide you with a ton of coverage. I feel like it's very in line with the Hermes brand, sort of natural looking, but you will start to see it is going to take on a bit of a glow and you just sort of need to let it sink into the skin. So I 
So to me, this is like that kind of easy summer makeup where you just sort of want to even out your skin, but you don't want to look makeup-y. And, but you do want a little extra SPF coverage. Of course, I already used my sunscreen on my skin as my last step in my skincare routine. And then I would just count my little tinted balm that has an SPF 30 as a bonus. So I never use my makeup as my sunscreen this is just a little extra bonus but so far i do think it is like a hair smidge too light but i am going to be putting on bronzer blush highlighter all of that and i think it just works and again with tints you don't have to be completely precise they are a little bit more flexible with the color so I'm going to put on a little bit of concealer now. I'm using my Chantecaille. This is the La Camouflage Stilo, and I love this as well. This one's going to provide, again, sort of light coverage, but it will brighten up underneath my eyes, and it just feels really good as well. Okay, just a little concealer, a little bit of that tinted balm, and then I have two. These are the Hermes Plein Air. These are the H Trio Mineral Bronzers, and I started out with shade number two, Atlas. This is a gorgeous toned light bronzer here good for people with light to medium skin tones. And then I had many of you tell me that I needed to pick up shade three in Sahara. And again, this has got some warmth to it as well, but you'll see there's a little bit of deeper red cocoa toned. So I really prefer um, bronzers that have a bit of that red cocoa tone because that is well, I'm going to tan. I don't really tan. I get a little bit of a burned look on my skin and so it'll bring out the red. So bronzers with a little bit more of a red cocoa undertone tend to look a bit better than the golden. So you can kind of see these side by side. So again, they have both of course are bronzers. So they're going to be warm tone, but you can definitely see in this one that it has a little bit of that cocoa or a little bit of rose undertone in the Sahara. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to use this one on my eyes because I love it as um, eyeshadow and I'm going to use this one as my bronzer. So I'm just taking my bronzer brush here and we'll come over here give myself a little bit of warmth. And I'm going ahead and I'm brushing just a little bit on my eyes as well for a little bit of depth on the eyes. I really do love the silky nature of these bronzers. They are just very buttery, really finely milled. And then let me give you a swatch of Atlas right here. Can you see Atlas is obviously lighter, but a little bit more golden. And Sahara is going to have a little bit of a deeper tone and be a, just a bit richer. So I can get away with that as well. Once we bring everything together, it will work out. But I am going to use my Sahara um, as my eyeshadow today. So I am just kind of going through, getting all the different colors here. And I'm going to come over here and I'm just going to use that as my eyeshadow in my crease. That's the beauty. We're doing a quick, easy summer look today. Simple makeup. Then I pulled out one of my 
Hermes Silky Blushes. This one is in Rose Pompette. And I just am going to put a little bit of that rosy shade right on my apples and bring that up. We're going to blend everything together, so don't worry. About and I'm using a little bit of this blush on the apples of my cheeks and then sweeping it up and out. And then I'm using a rougher number three. This is just sort of a flat edged brush. Still using my Atlas bronzer. I am going to run just a little bit of that bronzer underneath the lash line as well, just to connect everything. And then I'll be putting on a little bit of eyeliner today and mascara, but I just wanted to tie it all together. Then I have the Rose at a comma. Clearly I have been using mine, as you can see. Um, and again, this is a mineral powder highlighter. And I love to use some of this on my eyes as well as highlighters. So I'm gonna take a little bit of this I tend to focus primarily on those top colors here versus this color is great on your lid. I will show you a quick easy eye look in just a second but I'll just take a little bit of that and I'm going to just put that on the tops of my cheeks here. This can also be used as an illuminating powder depending on how much glow you want. I tend to use this as highlighter. So I'm just going to go like that here and then I'll use a teeny bit of this right up here. I'm going to use that up in my brow bone. Okay, next I do need to define my eyes. So I am going to be using my Chanel. This is the Le Stilo Ye Waterproof. And I love this in the shade Marine, which is basically a lovely navy blue color. And I am just going to wiggle through my upper lash line here just to define the lashes, kind of keep this very simple and clean. What I like to do is just get a little bit of that marine near my lash line because it tends to brighten up my eyes. And then if you wanted to add just a little bit of shimmer on the eyes, I really like this one from Armani. This is the eye tint. I believe this is in cold copper. And what I like to do is easiest eye ever. I'll just take a teeny bit of this and I'll just place that on my lid. And then I'll use my finger and just tap that in. And here's what I've created so far. Okay, super easy summer eye bronzer, a little bit of that eye tint liner, and I'm just going to go put on mascara, clean up my brows, and then we can play with the couple Hermes lip products that I love. Now, as far as bronzers, as many of you know, one of my favorites is Shantakai, and this is in Goa. And what you can see is this is going to have a little bit more of a red cocoa tone. And this one is over here, Sahara. And you can clearly see that this one is not as deep as this, but let me swatch these. I just kind of wanted to show you that it has a little bit of that cocoa kind of red tone to it. So I'm going to mix just all of this together so you can see. And up on the top is Goa. You can see that's a little bit more cool toned. And here is Sahara. And you can see it's a mix. Um, it definitely has some warmth to it, not quite as cool as Goa. And then let me swatch 
atlas for you so you can see that this is going to be, it's definitely lighter here, but again, more golden. Okay, so this one's golden. This is Goa, definitely can see the coolness. And then Sahara is gonna be a mix between cool and warm. And I was looking for my Tom Ford Terra. I found my Terra. This is a well-loved bronzer. And um, this is Tom Ford, so I'm kind of doing the bougier, more expensive bronzers. And let me swatch. Tara next to Sahara. So actually that's really interesting. So right here is Tom Ford Tara, Hermes Atlas, Shantakai Goa, and then we have Sahara from Hermes. So as you can see, they all are a little different for I was for sure that Atlas was going to be similar to Tara. But if you can see right here, sometimes my lighting will go a little funky here. Again, I'm going to go through it again. This is Tom Ford, Terra, Hermes, Atlas, Shantakai, Goa. So again, you can see the Atlas is more golden than the Terra. Terra is more of a true kind of neutral, I think, neutral, cool. Goa has that rich co cocoa and when I'm saying cool all of these are going to be warm because they are bronzers but within the bronzer category some will lean a little bit more golden and others are going to lean have that little touch of red in there and if you are somebody who naturally gets a little bit of red when you are in the sun you know how some people get golden goddess they just like tan really easily and others of us may get a little bit more of a pink red tone come out in our skin with the sun so that is why I tend to like bronzers with a little bit more of that red cocoa undertone versus the golden. It just looks a little bit more natural. But as you can see, each of these bronzers is a little bit different in tone. Okay, now let's have a little bit of fun with some Hermes lippies. I did pick up two. I picked up one of the shiny lipsticks and this is in Coral Parasol. I absolutely love this lipstick and it is right up my alley it is going to be a bit more sheer but it just does that sort of magical thing on your lips that makes them look super pretty um, if you remember the Chanel Camellia lipstick it was basically a white lipstick or just did a little something magical on the lips and this is this coral parasol and honestly it is so darn pretty on the lips so let me put this one on for you And this is Coral Parasol. Isn't this just a gorgeous color? It is shiny and hydrating. And again, you can kind of build it up like I did or just wear a quick sheer layer. And what I like is I feel like it lifts the complexion a bit, but it's sort of no fuss. So again, thinking of easy summer makeup, but you still want to look put together. Um, I highly recommend this. And of course, I could not resist the packaging. So yes, I know that I am paying for the packaging here, but these are just so adorable. It's a little bit preppy. I love that. And again, here's the logo on the top. Feels quite weighty here. And has a nice little magnetic top. So just an adorable lipstick. So this is definitely a little splurge, a little touch of luxury. And then I did pick up one of the Hermes. This is their lip oil. This is Poupre Camarin. And this color is so pretty on the lips. These each have like a little different flavor to them as well.
and this is shade 6. And this is a sparkling and fruity purple, which borrows its hues from crow berries. So these lip oils are super comfortable. They feel very nourishing. They don't slip around too much. They actually sort of grip the lips. Um, and I just love this color. I just think it's a fun little pop of color. And I'm a fan of lip oils, lip glosses, um, shiny lipsticks. Those are my preferred genre of lipsticks. So if you're in that same camp, I do have to say I do love these. These are splurge worthy. I do think that you would enjoy them and they do kind of make me smile with their cute packaging as well. Okay, so that is my full face of essentially Hermes makeup. And then I quickly wanted to show you my outfit because I picked up the cutest little boucle sweater jacket from J. Crew, and I just think it is so darn cute. So this is the Odette Lady Jacket. It is just so cute. It is just so cute. It is a soft boucle jacket. I paired it just with one of their J. Crew tank tops underneath jeans and then my Jeffrey Campbell sandals. I'll go ahead and post a picture of my outfit, but I just absolutely love this piece. It comes in some fun bright colors as well. A really bright blue. It had a yellow and sort of a Kelly green. I'm a little bit of a prep at heart and I just fell in love with this white one. I just thought it was kind of a fun little piece that you can wear with your jeans or your linen pants um, and just sort of elevate your look just a bit still be on the casual side. So this was just something I like. It's super comfortable. It is going to give a little bit as well. Um, I picked this up in an extra small. I just know they had like an extra extra small. Like I think they had two other um, smaller sizes in the jacket um, and I was going in between an extra small and a small and the small was just a little bit too big in the arms and this material is going to give a little bit. So I would say buy true to size in this, but it is just so cute and I think it's such a fun little piece for summer. Okay, this is my final look today using my Hermes goodies. I hope you found this video helpful and I will be back with another one soon.